Very good morning, children. So today we are going to start our exercise two point five, starting with the first problem. Solve the following linear equation. As I am saying from the beginning of this sessions, solve. It indirectly indicates we have to find the value of unknown variable. So let us start. Look, clearly the denominators are different. Or else, just for better picture, here x by two is there. Here x by three. First, let us transpose the like terms to one side so that it will be easy for us to solve. So x by two plus x by three. If we transpose to the other side, it will become minus x by three, which is equal to already on the RHS we have one by four. Here. The constant term is minus one by five. So if we transpose it to the other side, it will become plus one by five. Okay, x by two minus x by three is equal to one by four plus one by five. Now look at the denominators of the terms; they are different here also. The denominators are different. So. We can go with LCM or we can do cross multiplication also. But look, here the LCM of two and three. Okay, so being the like terms or so I mean the prime numbers, what we can do? We can take the multiplication of those numbers, so we'll get two into three as six. Okay. So the LCM is going to be six. Two how many times is six? Three times. Three into the numerator x, three x minus three. How many times is six? Two times. Two into numerator x, two x is equal to. Here also, better take the LCM for these two. So. LCM of four and five is here. These are also prime numbers, so four into five is equal to twenty. Okay, so the here the common denominator is going to be twenty. Four how many times is twenty? Five times. Five into one is five plus five. How many times is twenty? Four. Four into one, four. So three x minus two x is x by six is equal to five plus four is nine by twenty. Okay. So we can't solve nine and twenty in a common table. Now the value of x is going to be nine by twenty. If we take out this six to the other side, it will go to multiplication or Denominator. We can cancel in two table. Two threes are two tens are. The remaining value is going to be nine into three by ten. So which is equal to nine three sir. Twenty seven by ten is the value of x. So the value of x here is going to be twenty seven by ten. So please copy. Into your CWs carefully. I hope you understood the process. Just first transposing the terms, then finding the common denominators, then applying the transposing division became multiplication cancellation, and we got the value of x as twenty seven by ten. So the next problem which we are going to deal is the third one, because the second one I am going to give as today's homework. So I am directly moving to the third one. Please look at the board carefully. So the problem is x plus seven minus eight x by three is equal to seventeen by six minus five x by two. If you observe the LHS side, we have three terms. That is, x is one term, seven is a different term, and minus eight x by three is a different term. Whereas in RHS we have only two terms. Now what you have to understand is, 
irrespective of the number of terms we can be able to solve the individual variables which are given in the question okay that means we don't worry about how many terms they give let them give five terms or only one term one side or two terms the other side irrespective of the number of terms given we must be able to solve for the value of variable here the variable is x now as we do x that means we are going to keep the like terms at one side here x and minus 8x by 3 is the second term here on the RHS we have minus 5x by 2 that minus 5x by 2 if we transpose to the other side that means to the LHS it will become plus 5x by 2 that is equal to 17 by 6 put as it is and the only constant term which we have on the LHS is plus 7 so plus 7 if we transpose to the other side it will become minus 7 and just for the convenience as we don't have a denominator let, let us keep it over. Now look here on the LHS also x is not carrying any denominator so keep it 1 always 1. Now look on the LHS and the RHS we have different denominators on the LHS we have 1, 3, 2 which are different to each other and here 6 and 1 which are different to each other. Now look Hence, what we'll do, we'll go for the LCM of the denominators. LCM of 1, 3 and 2. So, all are prime numbers. So, the LCM is going to be their product 1 into 3 into 2, which is equal to 6. Okay. Next, on the RHS also, LCM of 6 and 1, as you know, when we have 1 as one of the factors, the LCM is going to be the same. That means 6 into 1 which is equal to 6. So, let us go for the first one. So, the common denominator is going to be 6. Now, 1 how many times is 6? 6 times. So, 6 into numerator x, 6x minus 3 how many times is 6? 2 times 2 into 8x okay 16x so plus 2 into how many times is 6 3 times 3 fives 15x I am just repeating this step for the better understanding look for the denominators 1 3 and 2 we got the LCM 6 so we took the common denominator as 6 now comparing this denominator and this denominator. 1, 6. 1 how many times is 6? 6 times. So that 6 into the original numerator 6x. Minus 3 how many times is 6? 2 times. 2 into 8. 16x. Next. 2 how many times is 6? 3 times. 3 5 are 15. 15x is equal to again. For both 6 and 1, we got the LCM as 6. Now, 6 into the denominator 6. 6, how many times is 6? 1 time. So, 17 into 1 gives 17 minus 1. How many times is 6? 6 times. 6 7 is 42. Okay. Now, all are like terms here. 6x minus 16x plus 15x. First, 6x minus 16x minus 10x minus 10x plus 15x, 5x, look, 6x minus, if we forget about this, 6x minus 16x is minus 10x, that means the result of these two and the third, third term we have is plus 15x. Minus 10 plus 15 is 5. Hence we got 5x and the denominator is 6 as it is is equal to here 17 minus 42. So 42 5 
फोर्टी टू माइनस सेवन ट्वेल्व माइनस सेवन फाइव ओके एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय सिक्स बट एज द बिगर नंबर इज हैविंग माइनस हियर की गिव दैट माइनस टू द रिजल्ट so what we can do we can cancel this 6 and 6 because if we transpose this 6 it is going to be get cancel and the left over term is going to be 5x is equal to minus 25 okay the left over term is 5x is equal to minus 25 now what we can do we want only the value of x x is equal to minus 25 5 is in multiplication so if we transpose it it will go to division 5 ones are 5 5s are therefore we can say that the value of x is equal to 5 so the value of x is going to be minus 5 so please be careful with the multiplications because if you make a small mistake at multiplication by keeping plus as minus the problem is going to be wrong so please copy the given things carefully into your cw and the second question of this roman is going to be your today's homework that's all for today tomorrow we'll catch up tomorrow